Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. So you've got a question on a threshold. Yes, um, I've got a part number I think is going to work for me, but I have two questions regarding it. And um, sure. the part number is DS578. A Oak 36R. Okay. Okay. Um, what I've got is I've got two outswing doors that have just been installed, sort of uh, on a renovation, so don't have access to the, um, you know, the door frame and everything. They're going to have to install this. They actually put an in-swing door threshold in backwards, and I'm going to I'm going to try to find a solution where we can put the correct thing in. I uh, have hardwood floors, and so they're going to be butting up to on the inside to this. I like this because it has an oak finished top on, that would be on the inside of the house. And I think that look nice with the hardwood floors. Um, two questions. Number one, I'm assuming that it looks like that's oak on top of some kind of pine, and I'm assuming that we could uh, attach that to the subfloor using screws coming down through the oak and then patch the screw holes to get it to um, install. Um, yeah, I know it's probably not I, how it's meant to do, but <laughs> I'm probably supposed to nail it into the door jam. But yeah, to the ladder. That's how those are installed. Um, so this is a timeless problem. Um, you know, these aren't meant to go in after the fact. I would not have a. I would not see any trouble with that, with mm -hmm. the exception of I would want to be sure not to compress my aluminum portion when it came time to replace that culon in a decade or more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I would want to uh, very much uh, accurately pre-drill those holes, countersink it, um, and finish it off that way. The other thing you could do, of course, is drill a hole through that aluminum and go through that softwood um, that's there and then get a oh. cap, some sort of a press fit cap that can cover up that head of the screw that you, the uh, like the uh, concrete screw you'd put through there or whatever yeah. it would be. You know, it actually would be a possible solution too because this is going into a screened in roof deck. So, yeah. you know, water in infiltration is not, you know, I prefer to obviously not um, sure give so. it water any ways to get in, but I don't know that it's going to be a huge problem if we maybe silicone seal the screw heads and then put them in, you know, through the, through the aluminum. Um, Are you okay. in a hurricane sort of area? No, I'm in, well, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama, so no. Okay. I'm in very yeah, rarely. I understand. So we're under a roof. I think, I think we can make that work. Um, second question, the, it says kerf not included. Um, it took me forever to find this on your website. Do you have any idea where, you know, on your website I would add a kerf to this order? Or two well, I need two of these, actually. About the, uh, about the insert. Um, a little see. rubber bumper insert thing. Let's take a look and see what part number that would be. I would be looking at part number DS, as in Delta Sierra, mm -hmm. 416S, as in Sierra. Oh, pardon me. 416B is in Bravo. Okay. Delta Sierra 416 Bravo, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can. I don't want to lose this um, page. So let me see if I can find that on. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a DS421 Bravo. And I think that might be a better choice, even though both of them will work. I think the one with the tangs on it. Um, is what's intended to go back in there. DS421, Bravo. Okay, I'm on that page. I see that. All right, and um, now the the last question, I believe, well, I, I'm going to ask you two more. One is it says that there, uh, there's a minimum order. I need, I need I have two doors. They're 36-inch doors. This is a little too long, so I need two of these. Um that's going to be an $80 order. It says ships in four business days with a $200 minimum or 20 business days for smaller orders. So am I looking at 20 days to get this if we put the order in? Well, if you're below 200, it's it's not four. Um, let me look and see if I have where I am with a, a pending draft seal order. 
So that's what I guess that's what's wondering. Is you order it from them and then you ship it to us? Is that how it works? If it is a small order, yes, sir. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I do not have a pending draft seal order, so it's definitely going to be on that that four week lead time range. Ooh, okay. The problem okay. is you guys are in Canada, and um, yeah, right, right. I understand. And um, the other thing is, hang on, Delta Sierra four one six. What was the other curve you said? Not Bravo, but four, Delta Sierra. No, they're both Bravo, but it's four sixteen and four twenty one. Oh, four twenty one Bravo. Okay. Uh, let me put that in my cart before I forget. Bravo. All right, that is the draft seal, 12 inch kerf foam tight. Damn. Well, just scroll room. down and go to the longer piece, the 36. Okay, that's or, the length you know, of it. So. Yes, sir. 36 inches is what I need. So I'll need two of these. Do you think that's the best product for that one? Okay. All right, so my cart should show $88 items in cart. Okay, I got two draft seal DS578A oak 36R, 5 and 7 eighths inch 36. And the last question is cutting these. If I've, you know, I've got a, a metal cutting saw in the uh, a blade in the um, in a chop saw, will that cut it? I would use a carbide tipped blade. Um, so one that wouldn't be meant for metal, but a carbide blade would cut aluminum and wood. Carbide. Okay. Gotcha. And that's nice fine tooth carbide, I guess. Okay. The finer the better. That's for sure. Yeah, um, sure. But <laughs> oh. if I already owned a 48 tooth, I wouldn't go out and buy an 80 tooth <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just for cut cuts. This. So. I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I think uh, I think I've got what I need. Um, I appreciate your help. I think that curve and everything should work. I just I hate this going to take so long, but it's, I think it's the right product. I can't find anywhere else to, to get this stuff. You're, you've got a million things on your website, and um, it's the only place I can find that has anything like this. Well, the, and as I'm hearing the lead time constraint, I'm thinking, who else, who else, who else? No one has one because you're exactly like this, because your criteria is that generous oak top is going to float elegantly into your oak hardwood. So no one else has mm -hmm. that profile is why I'm not even yeah. suggesting anything else. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, great. Well, let's get it right. So better do it right than, you know, do it quick. So yes, I got it in my cart. I'll check out and I uh, appreciate your help. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.